Hello all, welcome to VZD Academy. In the previous class, we have seen how to convert decimal to binary number system. Now let us try to understand second conversion method, second base conversion method, how to convert decimal to octal number system. Let me take an example. Second conversion method is decimal. We can say base 10 to octal base 8. <clears throat> sir, let me take one example. The questions are asking like this. Convert convert a number called 37.625. Let me take any number of having a base 10 to any we can say octal number or octal base. When the question comes like this, I told you in the previous class itself, sir, whenever we are converting from decimal to octal or any number system from decimal, we just need to divide. Only the logic we need to remember is decimal to any, we just need to divide. Whatever the integer part comes. Sir, in this particular question, here we have two values. One is integer value and another is fractional value. When fractional value also comes, we just need to multiply and we, we just need to divide whatever the integer part comes. As, as we did in the previous class itself, let me take the same procedure. Here 37 can be divided with 8. Sir, <coughs> 8 can be divisible with 37 by uh, 4 times 32 and then remainder is 5. So now uh, 8 here is 0 and then 4. So answer will be uh, writing from bottom to top. I told you in the previous class itself. So this will be 4, 5 point. Sir, now let me take the fractional point. Here 0 0.625 is the fractional point. And I just want to multiply with whatever the base we are going to convert. Here base is 8. So I would like to multiply 0 0.625 into 8. So the answer will be 5.00. So remainder I can take as 5. I can write it as a 5. So now and now here the remain uh, we can say the fractional point is 0 0.000. I can multiply with 8. So whatever I multiply with 8, whatever I multiply with 0, of course we know that answer will be 0. Here again 0. So now answer can be writing from top to bottom. Whereas we are writing the answer for integer plot from top to uh, bottom to top and whereas for fractional point we are writing the answer from top to bottom here 5 and then 0 this is what the conversion of 37.625 base to base 10 to uh, base 8 we can say 40 pi 45.50 now let me take another example another example for the same value for better understanding let me take sir, uh, a third conversion decimal to decimal of base 10 to we can say let me convert with 16 or we can say <coughs> hexa sir i can take same example convert convert 37.625 of base 10 to i can take the same value 16 here we are just converting hexadecimal Sir, even for decimal to hexa, also we just need to follow, follow the same procedure. Whatever the integer part comes, we just need to divide. Here 37 divisible with 16. We know that 2 times and then remainder is 5. And again, if I can do that, we know 0. It cannot be divisible with 16. So 0 and then remainder 2. So I just write the answer from top to bottom. Here it is, answer is. 2, 5 and then point. Let me take this fractional point 0 0.625 multiplication with 16. So answer will become here 0 0.625 into 16 we can say that 10.00. Now the answer is here 10 remainder 10 and then again I want to multiply 0 0.00 here the remainder is 0 0 0 multiplication with 16 whatever I multiply here answer is only 0. So now for this fractional point I want to take answer from top to bottom I can write it as 25.10 of base 
16. This is what the answer of answer of decimal to hexadecimal conversion and this is called decimal to octal conversion. This is how to convert from decimal to any number sir. We just need to remember only one thing when we convert from decimal to any number we just need to divide for integer values and we just need to multiply the whatever fractional point comes. This is how we can convert decimal to any number. We, we just completed three uh, base conversion methods. Let us try to understand fourth conversion method any to any to our decimal number system. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe.